going on everybody Joe Munoz hope this video finds you well and I want to share some insight with you on energy management principles that I use personally when I'm out on the line flying uh, just a couple rules of thumb strictly technique not written anywhere you don't have to go by this but it's just my personal experience if you will that I'd like to offer to you here so look first rule of thumb is the 12 by 12 in other words if you're descending at a 12,000 feet and you are faster than 250 knots, needing to slow, of course, to meet the 10,000 and 250 knot speed restriction. It's a good time for you to roll in vertical speed minus 1,200 feet at 12,000 feet and begin the speed reduction to 250 knots. Okay, this is true really on almost any jet. And of course, as many of you know, I fly the A320. So 12,000 feet, vertical speed minus 1,200 and I'm going to roll that speed back to 250 knots. And typically, of course, you need to monitor it, right? But generally, you're going to be able to meet your 250 and 10 speed restriction while still being able to maintain uh, some level of a descent. As you obviously know, if you fly jets, uh, these jets do not go down and slow down very well, which is entirely why we have an energy management course that kind of talks about um, how you can plan your energy accordingly in the terminal environment. So that's the first rule of thumb. I, I like to refer to it as 12 by 12. Again, 12,000 feet, 1,200 feet per minute rate of descent, pull the speed back 250. Now the next one is going to be uh, 30 and 250. So at 30 miles from the airport, I like to be around 250 knots. Coincidentally, 30 miles from the airport, that also lines up with about 10,000 feet. Most standard terminal arrival routes or stars are set up in a way where you're going to be about 10,000 feet, 30 miles from the field, which of course is 250 knots. But if you happen to uh, not be on a star and just for your own mental planning, you can use a star to parallel what most of them are set up to do, which is put you in a position to be 10,000 feet, 30 miles from the airport and 250 knots. Next rule of thumb I like to use is for every 10 knots that you need to lose, one mile is required, right? So one mile of distance traveled okay will will basically equate to a 10 knot speed reduction this is assuming level flight so uh, for every 10 knots you need to lose calculate one mile assuming level flight and if you're in a descent it's actually almost twice that so quite a bit more again i'm re-emphasizing that these jets do not go down and slow down very well those of you that are coming from turboprop background as i did before my jet uh before my turbo jet uh, career, if you will. I was coming from a Metro liner straight to 7.3, then A320. Energy management was certainly a big thing for me to wrap my head around, and uh, hopefully the programs that we have online will help you. Now, another rule of thumb is, this is just personal, again, my personal technique. Typically, 10 miles from the airport, I like to be slowed down to about 180 knots, flaps two in an A320, and at the very least, if I'm not there, then certainly slowing to that point uh, around at least 210, slowing to 180. So, 10 miles away, 180 knots, flaps two, and if I'm not 180 flaps two by that point, I'm at no more than 210, slowing back to 180 flaps two uh, at no further, or no closer, I should say, of a distance of, of 10 miles away. Um, typically, I'll find a, a, a fix on the approach plate that happens to coincide with 10 miles away. And it's kind of more of a visual representation on my navigation display as to where I want to be at 180 flaps 2 on the approach, or at the very least trending in that direction, uh, certainly with no more than 210 knots by the time I get to that 10 mile uh, 10 nautical mile mark. So I hope these tips help you. There are certainly many more. There's the three to one mental calculation that you can do. There's the descent planning and the descent phase of the McDo that I talk all about in our A320 energy management course. There's uh, the geometric descent path versus the idle descent path and understanding what thrust idle gives you in terms of uh, priority. Is it pitch or speed? And what does vertical speed give you? And all these things I really talk about in the energy management program. You can grab that independent of any other course we have on onestepprep.com individually as its own. Or what I would recommend you do, frankly, is just enroll in our A320 program. Whether that's a gold membership, 30 days, 99 bucks, a platinum membership, which is 90 days for 199. It essentially works out to buy two months, get the third free. Or you go annual, 
uh, which is basically $497 for 365 days. It's year-round video, year-round JJ, if you will. Juan and Joe, your friends here. Uh, I do encourage the annual plan. The reason I do is not because it's most money and that would be best for our academy. That's not by any stretch of the imagination what it is. In fact, really, um, what it has to do with is the fact that we're constantly putting out new content. And we believe fully in what we provide here, the service we provide. Uh, if you follow us for any length of time, you'll know, you'll hear me say, uh, I love Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And if Ben and Jerry's stopped selling ice cream because the recipe was too good to share and they got selfish and kept it for themselves, I would be heartbroken. And I truly feel the same way about everything that I put out on One Step Prep and on my other websites. If you don't know that I'm involved in MunozMission.com and LearnAX3.com. Uh, they are the equivalent to me of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I push it hard. I create content for it. We send out email campaigns uh, quite regularly, really because uh, I believe fully in the message. And I hope you join us on the annual program so you can stay with us on a year-round basis and check out the new content that we release there. Energy management program is in there along with the oral prep, along with the auto flight review, the simulator briefings, really everything you need for initial recurrent and upgrade training. You can find it at OneStepPrep.com. And of course, if you're in Miami, please visit us. We are here and we are waiting for you.